Well, the big game is this weekend. A lot of folks around the Miami Valley will be holding Super Bowl parties in their own homes. Of course. Rhonda Moore is live at Dorothy Lane Market this morning with something that you could serve up. Hey, Rhonda. Good morning. Yeah, we're in the Culinary Center, and we are making sliders this morning, different types of sliders, which will be great for any Super Bowl party. And joining me now is Chef Kerry Walters. Okay, so you said that we're going to be making different types of sliders, right? That's right. We've got all sorts of fun flavors to choose from. And okay. at a Super Bowl party, you don't want to eat a gigantic burger because you want to eat lots, lots of, of stuff. Things. Right. <laughs> so here you can just take a regular burger, and we have all sorts of fun flavors. In fact, what you're doing right now is you're putting some tzatziki sauce, which is a Greek kind of yogurt sauce, right on top of our Greek burger. Okay. So they're pre-made uh, for you. You just cook them up. They split beautifully into four pieces. And so you can, you can buy them like big like this, exactly. already made up. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, and there's like that. There's a buffalo chicken burger. That's a Cajun burger that's really good with blue cheese salad dressing on it. Um, you can put um, buffalo wing sauce right on that um, buffalo chicken burger. And they're fun, they're bite size, they're easy to make. Um, these slider buns are really fun too. So and then you can kind of set up a whole burger bar and have people put their own condiments on and you know, have a lot more fun than just ketchup and mustard <laughs> on a hamburger. <laughs> make it a little fancy, right? That's right. Right, and mm -hmm. then you can serve a lot of people this way too by just splitting it up this way and just not giving everyone a big old burger like that, right? Right, right. <laughs> and it's all about the condiments for me. I mean, there's nothing like a, a a spicy Cajun burger with some creamy blue cheese salad dressing on it and it's just fun. And down here at this other end also you yeah. have some other food where you're yeah, showing so in case someone doesn't really want to cook like me and bring stuff right. to a party. That's you right. can just go you can to just come come right over and we have all sorts of Super Bowl ready party ready things to do like hummus platters and vegetable trays and all sorts of taking big pizzas and it's just, it's just a big, fun uh, Super Bowl party over here. So. That makes it a little more convenient. Absolutely. All right. Well, if you want to make uh, this Super Bowl food or any other food that you see here, you can come and get the ingredients at any Dorothy Lane Market located in Centerville, Oakwood, or Springboro. And we'll be back at 8.05, and we're going to be making some running back shrimp. That's because you're going to be running back for <laughs> shrimp more and more, right? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Back to you guys. That is a fitting name. All right, Rhonda, thank you. It's an unofficial holiday. The Super Bowl means spending time with football fans, friends, and family. And that includes having lots to eat. Our Rhonda Moore live at Dorothy Lane's Market Cooking School with something you and your friends can chow down on during the big game. Hi, Rhonda. Good morning. Well, last hour we were making some sliders and showing you how to make those. And now we're going to be making some running back shrimp. And this is Chef Jack Zendorf. So why is it called running back shrimp? Uh, I called it running back shrimp just because my guests are always running back for more. <laughs> thought it was a cute little name for it. Okay, so tell me how we are making this shrimp. Well, it's pretty simple. It's, you know, simple ingredients, simple, uh, simple to cook. Uh, basically, it's, we have uh, one cup of mayo, we've got half a cup of uh, sweet chili sauce, and then we've got some of the house-made sriracha. So this all is, these ingredients yes, here, right? Yes, just the four ingredients there. This okay. is kind of a sweet hot. You can uh, put more in if you like it hotter, but, you know. And that's you, what I'm stirring up here? Yeah, and it's Look just really that. simple. You just mm -hmm. mix those four together. Okay. Then Looks you take good. your shrimp. It's just shrimp that you've towel dried. Uh, a little bit of uh, white pepper, a little bit of salt, a little bit of cornstarch, and then we put some of the wok oil, stir fry oil, in the wok. It's got garlic in it. It's got uh, onion in it. It has all the seasoning, so you don't have to play around with. So uh, is is shrimp something that's good to serve for a Super Bowl party? You say? I think it is. It's just easy to. It's easy. People like it. Um, you can do so many things with it. Now you want to serve this hot, but it can sit out for just a little bit, right? Yeah. What we've got out there, room temperature is fine. Uh, I wouldn't leave it. Well, it won't sit that long. People will eat it up to start with. But, uh, <laughs> it, it room temperature is fine. Okay, and this is what it's going to come out looking like right here. Yes, you can serve it on you can serve it on individual plates. You can serve it on a platter like that, uh, or you can put it on sandwiches. What I like is that this sauce will mix right in with that lettuce, the shredded lettuce, and you eat everything. There's no waste. All right, so you can take you said a big piece of bread and then kind yeah, of dig it out. What I do sometimes, I'll take a loaf of Italian bread or French bread. I'll kind of dig it out a little bit and then just fill it up with the with the lettuce and the, the shrimp. And then and kind of cut it up and people yeah, can have like sandwiches. All right. When you cook your shrimp, um, you don't want to overcook it. When it forms a little bit of a sea and it's nice and pink, I, I call it a cook. All right. Well, that looks good. Yep, okay. Well, if you want to make this Super Bowl dish, you can get all of the ingredients at any Dorothy Lane Market located in Centerville, 
Oakwood or Springboro. And we're going to be back at 8.50. Ooh, it's nice and hot. Mm -hmm. We'll be back at 8.50 and we're going to be making a different type of popcorn for you. Back to you guys. Thanks, Rhonda. Wings, burgers, pizza, all that and more could be served at your Super Bowl party on Sunday. Don't forget the snacks. Rhonda Moore is live <laughs> at the Dorothy Lane Cooking School with what's popping. Hey, Rhonda. Good morning. Well, I love popcorn, especially plain popcorn. But this morning we're going to be making something else, not plain popcorn. This is Carrie Walters, a chef here at Dorothy yes. Lane. Okay, so yes. what are we making? So we're jazzing up some plain popcorn because mm -hmm. it's all about the Super Bowl, so it's all right. about buffalo wing sauce. Okay. So we are going to make a sweet and spicy caramel with all the flavors of buffalo hot wings. All right. So here I've got some caramel that we just made with some sugar and water, and we added good old Frank's hot sauce okay. and some butter. And then we're going to go ahead. Can you show that? Yeah. See how that looks? Okay. It smells delicious. We're mm -hmm. going to finish this up really quick with some okay. salt and some cayenne pepper. And then all you're going to do once I get this heated back up is you're going to stir fast. Okay. Once I pour this over and we, we're going to make our own popcorn. Oh, so you ready? It really does smell good. Okay, yeah. let's see if I can handle this. <laughs> so the big key is just be careful because caramel is kind of hot. Yeah. <laughs> Already <laughs> making a mess. Okay. <laughs> and you just stir quick to coat all those kernels on there. Okay. And once you get them nicely coated, kind of toss them up here. All right. Then you're going to cool it off and you can spread it out in some sheet pans. And it's going to look like this here? Okay. Yeah. If you don't spread it out, it'll kind of clump and stick together, but you can just kind of unclump it. Okay. Or this just kind of makes it, it really easy to grab by the handful. So this is fun because it's spicy, but it's also got some sweet kick oh. to it. So really good for watching I like spicy. Dinner. Yeah. All right. And so now you guys have some other stuff, too, that people can... Um, we do. We do. We... Um, we well, we were showing earlier yeah. sliders and then yes. also some shrimp. But sometimes you just want to show up mm -hmm. and not have to do any cooking. So here at DLM, we've got all sorts of fun things. We've got taken and baked pizzas. We even have our beef and um, our beef ball right here that's in the shape of a football. Some hummus dip and right. some good old Mexican dip. Lots of good stuff to either yeah. bring or just buy, right? Absolutely. Okay, well, if you want to make this Super Bowl stuff, all of this good stuff here, you can get the ingredients at any Dorothy Lane market located in Centerville. Oakwood or Springboro, and so we got a, a lot for you to choose from. Okay. Back to you guys. Wow, that, that's a party. All you need is the big game on a TV. I hope Rhonda's <laughs> bringing a lot of that back to the newsroom with her. We'll see. Yeah.